these, these are all yeah, supposed yeah, to, yeah. and for some reason we can't. James thought that we had paperwork for all these, but these are were all supposed to be game used bats. <laughs> guys I am out hitting some garage sales it is a gorgeous Friday morning but before we get started I wanted to share some big news with you guys two nights ago my wife and I took in a foster girl so you guys may or may not know this but my wife and I uh, became foster parents I guess about like seven or eight months ago um, it took a pretty long while actually there's a lot of training involved and everything and we did all the training and, you know, filled out all the necessary paperwork and everything and became foster parents. There's just a really big need for it um, around this area. There's a bad drug problem and just a lot of kids that need homes. So um, we decided that was something we wanted to do. And we, um, <clears throat> we had a girl, a teenage girl stay with us. It's been maybe five or six months, I think now. And she stayed with us for a few months and then went back with family. Honestly, that's kind of like the whole goal of foster care is, you know, to have the kids get back with the parents after they, you know, kind of get back up on their feet and uh, get things sorted out. Like, that's that's really the whole goal of it. Anyways, um, the girl that's uh, been staying with us that came a few nights ago, she's a really sweet kid. She's a teenager. And, um, you know, we're just trying to make her comfortable, you know, and uh, make sure she's got what she needs and, you know, has a has a nice home to stay in and uh, people that care about her until, you know, she can uh, get reunited with her parents. My wife and I have been documenting our entire journey uh, through becoming foster parents and um, we did a YouTube channel about it. It's called Be The Village and if you guys are interested in checking it out, I will put a link in the description below. If you guys have ever been curious about becoming foster parents or adopting or anything like that, we kind of go over a lot of the the myths and you know a lot of the different things that you kind of need to do to to make it happen so uh, definitely check it out I think you guys will like it morning, morning. how are you doing today Fine. Are you doing anything in your garage selling? this is my first one of the day oh. you have any musical instruments Somewhere. Yeah. Thank you for pulling it out. Who's the guitar player? Well, my son was going to be. Yeah? <laughs> Sided against it? Yeah, he just didn't pick it up. Just needs a, a little. Basic, you know, yeah, just needs a little tuning. Yeah. But it was in pretty good shape. We kept, kept it in the house. What are you asking for it? I was thinking about 75. 75? Okay. Our best offer. All right. Your first of the day. Wait a second. He's the first of the day, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that means he's still got money in his pocket. <laughs> 150 of 150, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look around a little bit and think on it. Okay. These are interesting. I just didn't want to leave it out here. Oh, yeah, sure. You can take it back in if you want. Thank you for letting me look at it. How much is the stuff on this table? Make me an offer. Got a little owl, I got a seal, I got some dice. Okay. How about three bucks? Sure. All right, thank Sounds you for working good. with me. Morning. How you doing today? Hi, fine. Well, not fine, hot. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a hot one. I'm up here by the fans, so you have to shout for me. Okay. <laughs> I have to sit in front of the fans. you have any video games? Pardon? Any video games? Yeah, no? no video games. Did you? What street was it? Uh, it's actually on Delamay, but you have to turn off Bellsburg off of the Mad River here. It's Thank you, ma'am. Have a nice you, day. Sir. Thanks for the tip, sir. Hey, you're welcome. Have a good day. Hope they still got some. Money. Yeah, me too. Morning, how you doing? Good morning. 
Everything's 25% off. Okay. Normally, in a house, you're not having 50 people around. Oh, yeah. 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 It's just different the way they did that. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty. I don't know. He would have somebody's name in it, wouldn't he? No, not if it's um, one of the people I guess. This is great. Um, Hello, this is Luke with the State These are all supposed to, to and for some reason we can't. Uh, James thought that we had paperwork for all these, but these are were all supposed to be game used bats. We've got the paperwork on this one, but if you look at them, they all got like numbers, and that's their actual numbers Yeah. on the bag. But this one's Tito Francona. That was a great estate sale, and I didn't even have it on my list. The only reason I went is because the previous sale I was at, I was just kind of asking if a lady had, you know, musical instruments. Like I asked about like sports memorabilia, video games, and somebody else that was shopping at her sale said, you know, there's an estate sale down the road that started yesterday, and they had a bunch of video games. I'm like, okay, cool. So I went over there and checked it out, and I did buy one video game. But that's not the best thing I bought. I got a Bjorn Winblad poster. I didn't know who it was. And the poster was new in plastic. And they had like $3 on it. So I looked it up. It's worth like $100. I've done really well selling posters. Like sports posters, music posters. So anytime I see them, I try to snatch them up. You've got some cool stuff. Well, we bought a house from a 101-year-old woman that passed away. Oh, my goodness. And you're just clearing out all the stuff? Well, and some of it was my father's. Wow. Like that. Yeah. This is really cool. Did this belong to her? Uh, yeah, that was her grandparents when they came over from Holland. Wow. I got, a, like, I got the picture of it. For $176.99 on 1884. That's incredible. Do you sell on eBay too? No. I'm the stuff like this that <clears throat> that's just the teapot. It's off the um, cruise ship, the Queen Mary, authenticated. Just the teapot on eBay is 75. It's got the creamer and the sugar bowl. Wow. Hmm. These are what amazed me. Those are from the 60s on eBay. They go anywhere from $17 to $499 a card. They no way. Don't have the $499 card. Now those are ones that's graded mm -hmm. and have the each card is graded, but we picked these out of the trash wow, after the no auction. Oh my gosh. So, am I going to pay to have them graded after seeing? I got pictures right. of that too after seeing that. Unreal. Her son um, played in a band that toured with the Rolling Stones for a year wow. in the Shangri Laws. Huh. He had a, I saw his number one gold record, the Green Tambourine. Oh my goodness. Yes. What's your books? Um, they are they're uh, different prices. This one was two. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Sorry, five bucks. All right. This one is really cool toy. Yeah, it looks neat. You know it has buttons, you push them and it makes noise. Oh really? That's yes. cool. Well thank you. Uh-huh. Alright guys, I'm back home from the garage sales and I got some stuff I'm pretty excited about. So, let's check it out. I got this bat. 
Um, this is a Tito Francona bat. At that estate sale, they had like four or five bats, and they said they were, I thought they were game used. They didn't have any kind of certification with them, but there are typically um, some indicators that can tell you a bat is game used. Uh, one of them is the number on the knob. Um, so when players are in the dugout, you know, they kind of got like this little cage thing where they put all their bats in, you know, they just kind of drop them in there. And then when they go to bat, they can figure out where their number is and just pull their bat out. And um, Tito Francona was 14, at least at some point in his career. He played like, gosh, like a little over 20 years. He had a really long career. He wasn't like an amazing player. I think he made the All-Star game once. Um, but he had a long career, and he played in the 60s. This bat was 20, and it was 25% off day, so I got it for 15 it's hard to put a value on this. Um, couldn't find really anything, any kind of comps or anything on eBay. I'm gonna price it at about a hundred bucks. You know, probably put best offer on it and see what happens. But yeah, game used bats can definitely bring a lot of money. This one's got a big chunk out of it too. Like you can see he like shaved off part of it when he got a hit. Another thing that can help you guys out with uh, dating bats are the stamps on here. So. Um, there's a website, I'll put the link below, that gives you the years that the bats were made for Louisville Slugger based on what the stamp on the bat is. So that's something to always uh, take a look at when you guys are getting bats and you're trying to figure out how old they are. I got this vintage Nerf ping pong for a dollar. It doesn't have the balls, um, but I still think I'll be able to sell it for a little bit. <laughs> Looks like this was a Christmas gift at one point. There's like a tiny little piece of wrapping paper <laughs> with some tape right there. <laughs> Got a full set of billiard balls for a dollar. thought that was really cheap because these things are definitely not cheap when you buy them new. Um, I don't think this is a very valuable set. Maybe 20, 25 bucks. Got some little odds and ends trinkets at the uh, first sale of the day. Got this little like cast iron owl. No stamping or anything, but I just thought he was kind of cool. He was a buck. I got this seal bottle opener, and on the bottom it's stamped uh, Made in West Germany, BMFN. And then I got these dice. It's three dice. They say JQK, so I'm guessing that's Jack Queen King. And then that's 10 black diamonds, and that's 11 red diamonds and then there's a couple dots so I'm not sure what the game is I'll have to figure it out but I could tell they were vintage I paid a buck for the three I just like finding like unique smalls like that just to see what I can do with them if nothing else I'll learn something I got this 1970s Fisher Price Alpha Probe toy um, it's got one little figure in here and then it's got another one in here three bucks for it and it looks like I should be able to get 25 maybe 30 I got a Sony Walkman for a buck and a uh, Panasonic cassette player for a dollar this is kind of like a recorder too it looks like anytime I can find this old stuff for a buck I always pick it up um, I can usually sell it anywhere from like 15 to 30 bucks a piece I bought a VCR <laughs> I was really surprised when I was looking up the prices of this particular one. This is a Panasonic PV9451, and it's selling for like $40 plus shipping pretty regularly. I was really shocked. Um, I guess this is just a sought after VCR, and they have the remote for it. Uh, I paid $3. This right here, I don't know what this is. I paid 2 bucks for it. Um, it's got the Westinghouse stamp on there, and it looks like it cranks. So, it might have been like a lever for a refrigerator, something like that, some kind of appliance. It's dated, uh, patent pending, January 20th, 1933. I thought it was cool for the price. It might be some kind of replacement part or something. Might not be worth anything, but I'll do a little bit of research and figure it out. Got an Xbox game. At that estate sale, they had a whole bunch of 
Xbox games. They were five dollars each, but it was twenty five percent off day, so they were only three seventy five. This is Ace Combat Six. It was complete with the manual. I'm thinking I could probably get between fifteen and twenty bucks for it. This right here, I was very excited to find. This is a uh, vintage Sony like camcorder. These are like the old school style where like you put it on your shoulder and look through the viewfinder when you're recording. And came with this little piece right here. So this is like an RF adapter and you would be able to hook this straight to your TV and watch it through that right there, through that coax. So you just put the coax cable straight to that and you can watch your video. This right here was selling on eBay for like $20 just by itself. And then the camera with this, I think I could probably get 50, maybe 60 bucks. This was $10, 25% off, so it was $7.50. I think I mixed up my video games. This one I got at a garage sale for a dollar and I think it's only worth maybe 10 or so. This one I got at the estate sale where I paid $3.75. Uh, it's the original Xbox Star Wars Jedi Outcast. I think this is like the 15 to $20 game. I did really good at that estate sale. I was really happy that that guy told me about it because I didn't, I didn't know what was going on. It wasn't on my list. And uh, he made me some good money with that tip. This is a JVC. Actually, no, wait, it's not a JVC. Five dollars, twenty-five percent off, so it's three seventy-five. It was in a JVC box, but it is a Canon. This is the uh, it's like a mini DV camcorder ZR65. It's like a forty or fifty-dollar camcorder, and it's got a battery. And I think it has, yeah, still got the uh, original Canon charger. So that was a great find. The last thing I found at that estate sale was this poster. Uh, this was in like a bedroom closet, just tossed in. It's still new in the plastic. They had three dollars on it, so after the discount it was two twenty-five. And here is the name on it. It was kind of hard for me to make out. I didn't know what that said. So I googled <laughs> what I thought it said. I thought it said bomb, like B-O-M, and then Winblad. So I googled that and it auto-corrected to Bjorn Winblad and I just did a quick search of posters, Bjorn Win Winblad posters and um, they came up and they're selling for really good money. I was really surprised. This particular one I can probably get between 50 and 100 bucks for I think. So killer fine for 225 That is it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.